From viral sensation to global superstar, one artist is redefining the music industry in 2024, both sides of the Atlantic, in Africa and on the international stage in the US. At least that's the story most people know, but Tyler has been doing her thing for some years now and did not just come out of nowhere in 2023, like most people think. But her meteoric rise hasn't been without controversy anyway, which is something that I will touch on later, but the truth is her story is rich and full of everything you can think of when it comes to a global superstar. So let's talk about it. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. South African pop phenomenon Tyler has just added more jewels to her crown at the 2024 BT Awards, further cementing her status as a rising global superstar. She's here to stay, she's in the game. The 22-year-old sensation walked away with two major wins, Best International Act triumphing in a category that included fellow African powerhouse Ira Starr. Guys, I did not prepare anything. Um, thank you to BT for always pushing the culture. Come on. But I just want to say thank you so much to my Tigers, my family, my team. And, yeah. and she also walked away with the Best New Artist, solidifying her breakout status on the international stage. In that category, she was competing against Sexy Red, Ira Star, Four Bats, and others that I don't even know. So I reckon she had a really good chance there, and she took it. This is crazy. This is also very heavy again. Firstly, I love Sexy Red. Oh my gosh. I can't. I love her so much. Oh my, what the heck? Um, but yeah, this is just such a gift to be here. I just want to dedicate this one to Africa. I want to dedicate this one to all... The African superstars before me. Tyler's impressive showing at the 2024 BET Awards did not stop there. She was actually nominated in four categories overall, showcasing her versatility and wide-ranging appeal in my opinion. She was up for the BET Award, uh, the BET Her Award, narrowly losing out to Victoria Monet in that category that also featured Ira Starr by the way. And she was in one of the most stacked categories I've ever seen at any awards show. And that was the best female R&B pop artist with the award ultimately going to uh, SZA. And that category also had the likes of like Doja Cat, Coco Jones, her, etc. Like anybody could have walked away with it. Anybody. However, these latest victories that Tyler has just scooped come on the heels of her groundbreaking Grammy win earlier this year where she made history as the first recipient of the best African Music Performance Award for a viral hit water. What the heck? But Tyler's ascent has not been without its complexities and this conversation continues to rear its ugly head because it's all about racism, colorism and all that stuff but... I guess if it sells papers, it sells papers. Her identity as a colored woman, a distinct ethnic classification in South Africa, has sparked conversations, particularly in the US, because the term colored there and its cultural context are different and are often misunderstood compared to what it is in South Africa. And many people out there also do not want to listen to any difference in opinion or a difference in reality for whatever that is. Despite the challenges, Tyler's unique blend of ama piano, pop and R&B continues to captivate audiences worldwide her infectious energy and undeniable talent have launched her from a TikTok fave, of which she still is, to international superstar, pop superstar, in record time. Although that is the narrative that most of the international community knows, she actually broke out in late 2020, early 2021 with the song Getting Late, which was a huge hit and a genre-defining hit, by the way, because that's where the term pop piano, as in pop ama piano or ama piano pop, whatever you want to call it, came from. She was the person that actually came up with that sound together with uh, Cool Drink back in essay but as it goes apparently nobody knows you until you break out in the u.s or whatever as tyler star continues to rise fans and industry insiders alike are eager to see 
what's next what's really next for this boundary breaking artist with a grammy and now two BET Awards under her belt in 2024. And I think this was the first time she got nominated for the BETs too. It's clear that Tyler's year of triumph is far from over. And what the heck, man? What the heck? In my opinion, this shows that Tyler is not a one-hit wonder and she is going to be in the industry for as long as can be and is going to give us more hits. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and let's have a healthy discussion around it. And obviously, do stay tuned. We will continue to follow Tyler's incredible journey as she redefines music and challenges perceptions along the way. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Ndain Ndain. Very dangerous.